Today you will master how to make these wavy striped lined backgrounds in After Effects in just minutes using only two effects. The possibilities here are endless, let's jump right into it. Alright we are inside our new composition, I'm going to come up to the top here, go layer, new solid and I'm going to type in grid loop. I'm going to make sure that it is black and I'm going to press OK. Now I have called it this because this is the effect that we are going to use. So come over to effects and presets and type in Griddler again. And grab the CC Griddler effect, drag it over onto our layer. So I'm just going to change this to transparent so we can see what's going on. Uh, this effect is very cool for making grids. So if we change these values, we can see that we can change the look quite drastically, changing the scale. I'm actually just going to change this horizontal scale to about minus 74. I'm going to change the vertical scale to 339. And I'm going to change the tile size to 4.9. So when I press play now, we can see that we have our lines and there is no movement. And I want movement for our effect today, uh, but I could change the values of this, uh, keyframe the values over here, but what we would get would be a bunch of straight move, uh, straight grid movement. And I don't want that. I want to have some waves in our effect as we saw before. So I'm going to come back over to effects and presets and type in turbulent. I'm going to grab this turbulent displace and drop it onto our Griddler layer and immediately we can see we've got these waves forming. Um, so these two layers today are the bulk of what is going to create our effects um, on any lined background that you are using and we can change the look very drastically by changing this uh, displacement effect and changing the values here so I'm going to change this to vertical displacement and straight away it looks like we're doing nothing again and that's because I'm going to drag this amount I'm going to make this about minus five seven eight and you can see we've immediately got this cut in um, and I do want to change the size to five three eight that's just um, scaling it up almost and I'm going to change the complexity to two so you can see we've started forming this look but if I press play there's no movement again and this is really easy to do to get movement we're just going to come over to our evolution I want you to hold down alt and press on the stopwatch and we can see that we've got a box popped up down here evolution and we've got this here so go ahead and type in time times 100 this is case sensitive and you just click off here and now when I play through we've got movement if you want to adjust that uh, the speed of how quickly it is going you might change this uh, you could make it a slower so you could change it to time times 50 if you wanted to up uh, make it faster you could change the number so you can see this is almost the entire effect that I had uh, but on my example my lines were colored and this is really easy to do as well we're gonna come up to the top again layer new solid I'm gonna call this gradient colors um, and press OK then come over to the effects and presets and I'm gonna type in gradient see this four color gradient effect and I'm just going to drop it on here. Now you can choose any colors that you want. Um, I am going to maybe do a lilac, maybe a peach. You get the idea. You could even change the colors movement a little bit. I'm going to bring my violet into the middle. But once you're happy with your colors you should have something that looks like this. And to get this onto our lines we're just going to come over here change the track mat to Griddler. And you can see when I play through our lines are now colored. I do need to have a background in here though so I'm just going to come up and create one more solid. I'm going to call this background and I'm going to make sure it's black or any color that you want. So when I play through we have our effect. I do just want to make one small change to our Griddler layer and I'm just going to drop this down. I'm going to come into the transform settings. You can see there's a line here and kind of a line here. So to combat this I'm just going to come to scale and change this to 102. You may or may not need to do this depending on what effect you, uh, what numbers you inserted into your Griddler effect. And that is it. So you can see, here's uh, my first example. 
I've just added some stars in, I've got some text over the top and it could be a very cool intro or an opening or for some sort of commercial, something like that. Um, and you can see um, example number two, we've got the exact same setup but just a few different uh, value changes over here and it's creating a very different look. I think I changed the colors in the background. And number three, same thing, we've uh, got the exact same effects, just change the numbers, change the displacement type, and we have just got a very different look. That is it for today, everyone. I hope you have mastered what you set out to do here. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. This is the kind of content I create on this channel. Go ahead and click right here, because this is the video YouTube thinks that you should watch next. See you in the next one. Bye.